Okay, really quick before we start, I just want to point out, as I'm making this video, the Metro games are all on sale on Steam right now. You can get the Saga bundle for only $13.86, or you can get Metro 2033 or Last Light, just those two alone, $3.99 each, or Exodus for $7.99 and the Expansion Pass for $4.39, but I'm pretty sure Gold is like $9.99, so might as well just get that instead of the Expansion Pass. Just wanted to point that out. If you like the games or see them in this video and think they look cool, definitely go grab them if you have a PC. All right, let's get right to it. Destroy the child. Come back from Okay. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm just going to hop into this like I usually do. Today I'm going to be talking about two games that, just like every other game I've made a video on so far, I just love. That's probably going to be the next few games. I have one game that I'm playing and making a video on right now that I haven't actually played yet. So far it's fun. You'll see that when you see it. But today I want to talk about the Metro series. But specifically Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. The reason I only want to talk about those two games and leave Exodus out of it is because I feel like Exodus deserves its own video. It is different enough and big enough that I want to talk about that on its own and I want to talk about these two games on their own because these two games are similar enough to each other that I can group them together in the same category, let's just say. Now, you'll probably look at my past few videos and see some similarities within the games, uh, especially Stalker, and I'll explain why. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I love horror games, survival horror games, give me anything like that and I, I'll love playing it. And anything kind of apocalyptic too, I, I like that. Uh, like wastelandy very good atmospheric games metro does that well i'll explain I'll, I'll get deeper into it i'm just this game is wonderful if you haven't played it there's gonna be spoilers in this video but this has been long enough bit of me explaining the beginning let's just get right into everything uh if you don't know about metro it's actually a game based off of a book series it, the first book in the series is metro 2033 so it shares the same name Unlike Metro Last Light, the second book is actually Metro 2034, but I've never actually read the books to be honest. I used to be a big reader, but I, I don't really read as much anymore. I should probably get back into it. I bet those would be two books I, I'd enjoy reading because I know that they were translated over to English. They were written back in 2002 by Dmitry Glukowski. I probably pronounced that wrong, but... I don't know if the books were based off of or the games are based off of. As I said, I didn't read the books, but this is also based off Roadside Picnic. If you remember me mentioning that book from the Stalker games, those games are also based off of Roadside Picnic. These two games were actually uh, developed by 4A. And if you don't know who 4A is, they're a Ukrainian based game company. It's actually three people from GSC. If you don't remember GSC from the Stalker video as well, they're the game company that actually developed Stalker. So three people from that game company broke off and then created their own game company, 4A, and made the Metro series. That's why I mentioned similarities between the Stalker and Metro games in that video. Deep Silver actually published the game. I don't remember Deep Silver doing so much, but they've done a lot of games that are just staples of my childhood for example the metro series i remember grabbing those games back in like 2012 2011 i don't know on my xbox 360 and grinding them those games were amazing to me and then i i heard about the redux versions i'll, I'll get into that but deep silver has made a lot of games that i enjoy they made the metro well publish they published the metro games they published dead island and they actually helped so if you look on Steam at the Stalker games, it says that it's published by GSC as well, but if you read into it, apparently Deep Silver had a little help and had a little something to do with the publishing of those games as well, so it's just like, that game company, wow. Nevertheless, back to the actual Metro games. The first one was released back in 2010 on the Xbox 360 and Windows, I believe, that's it, on the PC. 
and the Xbox. I don't think it was on PS3. And then, as I mentioned, the Redux. They remastered the games to look a little more similar to each other, kind of, because they go right back to back off of each other. So just amp the graphics, amp the sound quality a little bit, and called it the Redux, and released it for like PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and also PC. All the footage you'll see is actually from the Redux versions. I do, though, have Metro 2033, the original version, on my Steam account. And I'm kind of like happy about that because you can't actually get the original versions. You can only get the Redux ones. So I just think that's a little cool. What's this game about? So the name is what the game is. Metro. You're, <laughs> you're stuck in the metros. So the world goes into war and everyone ends up actually getting nuked and the whole world gets turned into a wasteland and you play the role of Artyom, one of my favorite game protagonists who rarely ever speaks and you never see his face. Yet there's just something about his character. He's one of my favorite game characters, Artyom. But the game takes place in uh, Moscow, Russia. It takes place in Russia, I know that. I, I know part of the game you go to Moscow, I think it's just all around Russia, but it's all in the metro systems. You stay underground because the humans actually went into the metro systems to stay safe from the nukes and the radiation, kind of like in like bunkers or uh, vaults from Fallout. So the metro stations just became bustling with people and Later in the future, after the war, people are striving down there. I don't know about striving, but there's like towns in the metro, there's shops in the metro, people are having kids in the metro, there's little farms with animals in the metro. That's why it's metro. But Artyom has to go on an adventure through the metro tunnels, and you end up finding dark ones. Everyone knows about the dark ones, but the dark ones are like these aliens. And there are, I should say, there are mutants, you know, the world went to crap, so everything became mutated, became monsters and stuff. So on top of that, there are actually this alien race that everyone calls the Dark Ones. But, little spoiler here, you learn that they were actually people who became radiated and evolved into this different alien-like being. So your whole goal is to hunt down these aliens for coming and destroying Earth, but in reality, they're just people who were, I don't know. They do just such a great job at telling a story. And after you nuke the Dark Ones, you end up taking out this big base and find out the Dark Ones are still around and Artyom, you, you have this feeling that the outside world outside of Moscow and Russia is not as bad as everyone says it is and you feel like trying to venture out and eventually that leads to Metro Exodus. Now I don't want to say too much and I want to wait until the other video to lead into Metro Exodus. So I'll just leave you with that on story. Gameplay wise, this game is like really fun to play. They took the elements of a action shooter and actually integrated them well into a horror survival game. In the sense of some games go really hard like it's Call of Duty with a couple of jump scares and that's not what this game does at all. This game puts you in an environment where it's dark and there's spider webs everywhere and the only light is from your flashlight or from the glowing mushrooms on the ground and you hear the mutated spiders crawling around or you hear the like growls and yells from the watchmen coming to you and that is just that is what makes a good horror game and then on top of that you have the gun system with customization and the different level system that allows you to either have a more relaxed play style and you get ammo more and more here and then and there's the harder play style where you need to forge more for your ammo and you have to like save it and so you get to choose do you want to run and gun do you want to really play that survival horror do you want a good mix in the middle and they did well on all of those different difficulty settings now with that for a game from 2010 it's it looks great it still blew me out of the water when i played it back when i got it and i'm not even talking about the redux i mean yeah sure the redux probably still looks pretty good here if you're watching it but I'll, I'll put a little bit of the original. It just has this more dark and grimy feeling to it, making it feel more like a horror game. Not that the Reduxes aren't good. I just like the original feel, but I also like classic games. 
half the games on my PC are probably from before 2010 anyways. So that's probably why I like that style of game. And luckily, if you are playing the Redux ones, which you most likely are, the game styles, the gameplay mechanics, the game graphics, all of it is pretty much the same because that's what they did with the Redux be going between 2033 and Last Light. Both games, great. They have a good story. It is a more locked down story, kind of like a campaign, you know, where you you finish your mission, you go to the next mission, you finish your mission, you go to the next mission, but that's not bad. It's an older game and it's telling the story. I actually sometimes like to break away from an open world game. And the way they did Metro Exodus is different, but again, I'll bring that up in that video. Now, I would bring up certain issues people had with the game and my counter argument to that or if I agree with it, but I, I maybe I'll look and uh, I'll put it in post, but there there is nothing that I've seen on this game that is kind of negative towards it. it. It seems like most people like it and for it to be brand for the development company to be branched off of the stalker games that just makes me like it more and to know that it's from deep silver which apparently published a ton of games that i know and love to this day so that's pretty cool um one thing i did find i looked into 4a and i don't know i'm not sure like if they have other games but on their website if you go to their games they only have four games listed three of them being the metro games and one of them being a game called arctica one it's a vr shooter and you can get on the quest i was looking at it i don't know um i like i love metro and maybe if 4a decides to make something in the future i would love to see what that is i do i am kind of like a i am kind of like a person who a company makes something that i enjoy i'm going to go back to stuff that that company makes when it's in the form of media like movies and games and stuff so i don't know i i think that's interesting though um that's about it you know it's it's a great game it's very locked down to be honest, you, you go through the metros, you sometimes go onto the surface, you got a gas mask, you got a knife, you got guns, you know, that's about it. As I said before, I'm not here to explain everything, I'm just here to give my opinions on a game. I really enjoy this game, and I think if you can get it for a good price, definitely do it. It's, it's not like the stalker games where it's, if you have a PC, you can get it because I'm, it's on every console. So I, I would definitely say grab that. Uh, it might not be on PS5. I know Xbox One, you can buy the older Xbox One games on the newer Xbox One X or Xbox Series X or whatever, but I don't know about PS5. PlayStation's always been weird with their backwards compatibility, but if you can get those games, definitely do. And if you don't want to wait for my Exodus video, I can already just say no. That game is amazing and you would probably love it if you thought that these games look good. Yeah, I just wanted to share some interesting stuff, share my opinion on the games. I think they're great. I think you should grab them. If you want to see the next video, definitely like and subscribe to stay updated. The next game I'm doing is a really wacky game and I've had a lot of fun playing it, but I don't know. I don't know what to think about it yet. If you agreed with anything I said in this video, even though I didn't really say much, I just kind of explained the game. I usually don't do that. I usually say my opinion and then uh, a little bit on the game, but I've mostly explained the game. That's just because I find Metro's development interesting and I might go check out that book. But yeah, as I was saying, if you agreed with anything, definitely go drop that in the comments. If you disagreed, definitely go drop that in the comments as well. As I also said before, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out BillyTheWhip.com or just Billy the Whip. And as I said at the beginning, have a great day or night.